Okay, in this video, I'd like to show you how to calculate your creation operator. So in the past I said to you, or indicated to you, that we have these raising and lowering operators, or we might call them creation and annihilation operators. So if you apply your creation operator, you increase the energy of your system, or you get to the, uh, by, one, by one unit, or you get to the next highest wave function. So, and obviously the opposite for your, your annihilation operator. So we found out that these u0, the lowest order wave function, was equal to this here. And look, this is just a constant. We'll say this part of it is just a constant. I'm going to call it A0. So we also found out that our y minus ddy operator, this kind of, this, this, yeah, this operator here was a raising operator. So what should happen is, if we apply this onto our, um, if we apply this on the, the, u, the u0 wave function, we should get the u1 wave function. Right? We should get the u1 of y. Now this one is normalized. So we'll see in a moment that applying this to the normalized wave function will not give us the same as the actually normalized u1 of y. Uh, I know that's not going to make much sense now, but it will in a moment. So what I'm going to do is apply y minus dy, the raising, the raising operator or the creation operator, on uh, u0, which is going to be a times e to the minus y squared over 2. All right. So that's going to be equal to uh, that's going to be equal to a0. We'll say outside of uh, y times e to the minus y squared over 2 plus y times e to the minus y squared over 2 which is equal to 2 times a0 times y times e to the minus y squared over 2. Now, what's interesting is that this is, that's, we'll say, that's what we got by applying our raising operator on our normalized uh, wave function. So, what happened when we actually found out what the normalized wave function is? The normalized the normalized u1 of y is equal to, uh, where has it gone now? I just have it here somewhere. The normalized u1 of y was equal to a0 times um, root 2 times y times e to the minus y squared over 2. That's what we had found. So you can see that the normalized u1 of y is actually root 2 times smaller than the unnormalized one, and we got the unnormalized one by applying our creation operator on it. So the creation operator was incorrect by a factor of root 2. So what we can say is as follows, if we do the following, if we have 1 over root 2, y minus d dy, that should give us our proper or our, our normalized wave function. So we might say this is our raising operator, which we're going to call a plus, or a dagger you might call it, because it's, a, it's an adjoint. So that's our normalized one. So, just to, I suppose, to convince you as well, and this is going to be a hand-waving argument, I'm not really going to get into the mathematics of it. Similarly, we know that u2, as I said, was equal to, now, if we want to write it in, um, if we want to write it in the form of our Hermitian polynomials, it looks like this. 4y squared minus 2, e to the minus y squared over 2, like that. Okay, that means if we apply our y minus ddy operator onto u1, we should get this. And in actual fact, when you do that, when you do that, you're going to get your out by one over. Um, you're going to be out by one over root four. All right. So it's out by one over root four. So what we have is as follows: If we apply y minus dy on u1, we're going to get root four times u2. Okay. Or we could say the following: You could say that's root two times root two times u2. Okay. So now I know this is a bit hand-waving because it didn't actually normalize this or even do this calculation. But I'm telling you that's what the answer is, right? So that, that, that's all that's important. So, what we can say is as follows. What if we applied y minus d dy on u2? I'm going to tell you this, that the answer is going to be root 2 times root 3 times u3. Okay? So... What if we pulled across this 1 over root 2? So what if we had 1 over root 2 here, and 1 over root 2 here, like that, get rid of him, and get rid of him. That means that we have, uh, we have, we'll say, if this is n, so is this. If this is n, so is this. All right? So what we can say is as follows. Um, we can say that we have y minus d dy acting on u n, un is equal to n plus 1 rooted un plus 1. 
Okay, that's I suppose looking at as as a raising operator because look, we went from u n, we went from u two to u uh, u u two plus one, and we multiplied it by uh, two plus one, which is three. Okay, so I hope that makes sense. So as we were raising it, so n plus if this is n, this is n plus one, this is also n plus one, and you can see that's that's exactly what we have here. So now what we can say our raising operator a plus is equal to root n plus one, u n plus one. That's our raising operator, or if you want, you could write it like this, 1 over root 2, y minus d dy. Alright, that's our creation operator. Thanks for watching. Please pass it on to your friends and subscribe to my channel.